Hey friends, Drew here in beautiful Lincoln University, Pennsylvania, working on a plumbing leak for a customer. So uh, they called us after they had sort of a major flood coming down to the first floor. Uh, their insurance company came out, their remediation came out, dried everything out. And now we're tasked with putting it all back together. So they had this washer box in here and something failed uh, between the valves and the, pot, the packing that on top of the valve. We're not exactly sure where it failed, uh, what it was off at that point. And it didn't matter as far as we were concerned. We just needed to get this out, get it replaced. So we cut the old box out. That has been removed. Uh, we are, have installed our new box. We've got the plumbing reconnected back to that. We're waiting for glue to set. We need about another 60 minutes on that before we can turn the water back on, test our connections, make sure everything's happy. We have our new piece of drywall cut, and that is ready to drop into place. And the next step that we're working on, uh, Andrew's working with me. Say hi, Andrew. Hello. This is our intern, Andrew. He's helping us out this summer. Uh, he just finished cutting some of our blocking for us, so that's going to go up in here just to give us a little bit more of a solid uh, spot for which to screw the drywall through just stabilize that seam a little bit more and help make sure that uh, nothing's going to crack or give her time with the washing machines causing all the vibration uh, belt and suspenders whenever I'm doing drywall especially a patch when we're not doing a full sheet wall to wall then I want to put some extra blocking in just to help hold things tight and make sure things are happy so if you have a piece of plumbing that fails you that causes you a problem that you'd like to have us fixed for you take a picture send it to our staff here on Facebook click that contact us button at the top of our page and take some pictures and some measurements and send us some descriptions of what's going on. Give us your name, address, phone number. And our office staff will be pretty quick to get back to you, hopefully with some sort of a ballpark um, of what's going on once we see the photos. And then once we've provided you with the ballpark, if we need to come out and do a site visit, there's usually a small fee for that. If you hire us within 30 days, we credit that towards your project. We are currently signing contracts out through uh, about mid to late September for um, any major work. We're trying to squeeze in the emergency handyman stuff as we can. Obviously this kind of had to, get, had to get squeezed in. They have no laundry until we get this back together. So today we're gonna to do drywall. We're gonna get the mud coat on this. And then tomorrow, uh, Michael's gonna come back in. He's gonna sand all of this, get it pretty, get paint on it. We're gonna throw some new Luan down on the floor. We're gonna throw some new vinyl down on the floor. We have a new washer pan to go in. That's gonna get tied to that pipe right there and that's the overflow drain pipe. It works fine for a slow leak. Uh, it's not gonna handle the amount of water that you're gonna get from a pressure, pressurized water leak, but at least it's something to help protect the floor. We'll get the pan back in, we'll get the laundry reinstalled, and hopefully by the end of tomorrow or the beginning of the next day, we will have them back in business with their laundry up here. There is a ton of drywall work to do on the first floor. There's also, unfortunately, some hardwood flooring work that needs to get done. Whenever you're dealing with a water loss, we usually recommend you have a conversation with a public adjuster because they're going to know what other pieces that they need to ask about and figure out. The challenge in this particular house is that the hardwood floor is continuous. It goes from the front entry right directly underneath where this problem occurred all the way through the um, dining room space into the kitchen, down through a center hallway that ties back to the kitchen on the other side, out over into the living room, and into a, a front foyer here on the left. So it's the, literally the entire first floor is continuous. And depending on what your insurance policy says, I'm not really allowed to give insurance advice, but the public adjuster is going to want to read that contract that you have with your insurance company and see what you're entitled to. Are you going to get a patch or are you entitled to really the entire first floor so that you're back to how you were um, before this whole mess started? So uh, that's something that we can refer you to somebody who can assist you with that. So give our team a call, 484-748-0008. Choose option two for filth construction and renovation and extension two for new projects. And our office staff will be available to assist you weekdays, 9.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. Like I said, the fastest way to get hold of us is take those pictures, send us to us right here on our Facebook page, click contact us, send us those photos there, send us your contact details, and we'll start working on that ballpark for you. Um, and once we go through that, we'll just kind of, you can go, go through our blog site and it'll explain a little bit more about our process. Uh, but we look forward to serving you. If you have a problem that we can solve, uh, give us a call. Remember, when we're done with it, you'll be proud to say it's not just done, it's coke built. We'll catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.